Hey everybody, welcome back. Now let me ask you something. What if you had access to the type of money that you can control? No middlemen, no banks telling you how much you can withdraw. No government printing more of it whenever they feel like it. Sound like a fantasy? Well, it's not. It's called Bitcoin. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how this digital currency could change not just your wallet, but your whole perspective on money. Bitcoin is more than just some digital code floating in the cyberspace. It's a groundbreaking financial system designed for the modern age. A way for people to exchange value directly with each other from anywhere in the world at any time. No banks, no borders, no governments needed. And guess what? It's already transforming economies and industry globally. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's break it down so everyone can understand from newbies, investors to crypto veterans. So what is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency. In simple terms, it's like having money, but without a bank involved. Imagine being able to send $100 to a friend halfway around the world without needing to ask your bank for permission or pay them a hefty fee. That's Bitcoin in action. Created back in 2009 by an anonymous figure or group called Satoshi Nakamoto, Bitcoin was born out of frustration with the traditional financial system. Banks can freeze your account, governments can print more money, but Bitcoin is immune to these issues. No single entity control it. Let's think of Bitcoin as digital gold. It's valuable because it's scarce. There will be only ever 21 million Bitcoins and once they are mined, that's it. No more can be created. But unlike gold, Bitcoin is much more easy to store, divide, and transfer. How does Bitcoin work? Let's break this down simply. Bitcoin runs on something called a blockchain. Think of it like a, a giant public ledger where every single transaction that has ever happened is recorded. The blockchain isn't stored in one place. It's spread across thousands of computers worldwide. That's what makes Bitcoin decentralized. No one can control it or shut it down because no one owns the whole thing. Now, every 10 minutes, a new group of transactions is bundled into a block and added to this blockchain. How do we make sure these transactions are legit into Bitcoin miner. These miners use powerful computers to solve complex mathematical problems. And once they crack the code, the transactions are verified and added to the blockchain. As a reward for their work, miners earn some freshly minted Bitcoin. This process keeps the network secure ensure transactions are valid and controls the release of new bitcoins into circulations but don't worry you don't need to mine bitcoins to get it you can simply buy it on exchanges and store it in your own digital wallet here's why bitcoin is a game changer before bitcoin all attempts at digital money failed because they couldn't solve one big problem that is double spending. This is where someone spend the same money twice. If I send you $100 but also send that same $100 to someone else, another example is email. You can send one email to countless of people and you still have the same exact email. You get the point, right? And traditional system rely on banks to prevent this. But Bitcoin does it without any third party. Bitcoin blockchain technology is designed to prevent double spending by ensuring 
that every transaction is unique, verified, and permanently recorded. Once a transaction is confirmed, it's locked in into the blockchain forever. No one can change or reverse it, making Bitcoins incredibly secure. Okay, let's talk about decentralization for a minute. Right now, most of the world money is controlled by central authority, banks, governments, and institutions. With Bitcoin, you become your own bank. You hear me? With Bitcoin, you become your own bank. No one can freeze your Bitcoin, inflate its value, or control how you can use it. That's the power of decentralization. Another major advantage of Bitcoin is its security. Bitcoin uses cryptography. Think of it like super advanced encryption to ensure every transaction. The technologies behind Bitcoins ensures that no one can alter the transaction's histories or steal your funds. Plus, every transaction is public and verifiable, adding another layer of trust. Lastly, Bitcoins offers financial inclusions. In many parts of the world, people don't have access to a reliable banking system. Bitcoins allows anyone with an internet connection to store, send, and receive money, opening up financial services to millions of people who would otherwise be excluded. This video is for educational purposes only, not a financial advice. Let me paint a picture. Back in 2010, a guy named Laszlo bought two pizza with Bitcoin. Sounds normal, right? Except he spent 10,000 Bitcoins on those pieces fast forward to today and those same 10,000 bitcoins would be worth over 600 million dollars that's how far bitcoin has become now imagine you have a bitcoin wallet on your phone you're traveling abroad and your bank blocks your card for security reason but no worry you can still send and receive bitcoin instantly with just an internet connection no delay, no middleman. Right now, Bitcoin is still in its early stages. Only 1% of the global population use it. That's like investing in the internet back in the 90s before it went mainstream. Imagine what happens when that number jumps to 10%, 50%, or even 80%. The potential upside for Bitcoins is enormous because the supply is fixed in, but the demand is only growing. With Bitcoins, we're looking at a future where you control your own wealth. And it's not just individuals, investors who are getting in on this. Major companies are buying Bitcoin and even governments are beginning to take notice. All right, you make it to the end. Congrats. So now the question is, are you ready to be part of the financial revolution? Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with anyone who needs to hear about Bitcoin. And most importantly, start stacking those satoshis because the future of money is digital and you can be part of it. Don't miss out because this train is moving and you want to be on board. All right, everyone, I'm going to end this right now. I hope to see you all on the next video. Last word, hold it tight, stack it right, take care, and don't forget to click this video.